I got involved with the project um, through my agent. He sent me the script and said, this is something I think that is very much up your street. It's based on uh, the life of J.R.R. Tolkien. We know that you love fantasy. We know you love Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Um, and I had actually auditioned for one of the other films uh, for an elven character. And so they knew that I had a, a, an affinity for that kind of role. And I spoke with Dome, and right away, his passion and his, it was quite infectious, uh, and his knowledge about the material was so present that I became even more excited. And then when I heard that Nick was involved, it was kind of a no-brainer. So all in all, it was something that I knew right away I wanted to be a part of. I've always loved magic. I've always loved fantasy in this kind of a world. And I, the, the books when I was in school were very much a part of uh, the literature of, of the time. And um, being like a kid who was already predisposed to loving fantasy, it was very much something I was aware of. And of course, when the Peter Jackson movies came out, I would go to the theater and see them, look forward to the release of the next one every time. So it was something that was very much ingrained in me from a very young age. Um, and so to be a part of this story finally about the man himself felt quite right, in a way. I'm always someone who enjoys knowing the story behind the story, so the fact that Tolkien himself was quite rambunctious and, and cheeky and playful, as was Edith, um, and so much of his experiences in war and his friendship, his school days, his love with Edith, all of that is so much a part of the characters he created and the world he created. And I think that the unexpected nature of all those relationships is what's really exciting and appealing about what he then created and like the marriage of how we did it in the film with images or color and you're kind of seeing all these unexpected um, influences, I think makes watching those other movies now, going back to like the Peter Jackson of it all and reading the books again, even more interesting because you know the nature of where they came from. Uh, and I just, I, I think it's important to see him not as just an old man writing at a desk. I think having a playful quality makes, I mean, it's a more full-rounded human being, and I think it's unexpected. I mean, he was a kid once. He was, obviously someone that created these kinds of stories had to love adventure and storytelling himself. So I think it's only natural to see him like that. I loved that they were each other's true loves from a very young age when they met in the orphanage, became fast friends, confidants, um, very much each other's inspiration and encouragers of sorts, um, a sense of escape. Um, they both saw something in each other that the other one maybe needed more encouragement of, and she saw a sense of escape in his storytelling. He saw a sense of escape with her because she was this very muse-like, um, influence for him and I really I really think it's a story that a lot of people might say oh that's just a love for the movies but in fact it was their love story and it's true and you see these photos very few photos of them together but the photos that you do see there's just this ever youthful love and um, cheekiness about them that lasted all throughout their lives and I think that that's it's kind of like the epic love that everyone wants to attain and these two were able to, to do it. Nick is just awesome. <laughs> Nick, Nick his, um, his work ethic is so incredible. He's so fun to be in a scene with because he's just the ultimate scene partner. He will improv with you if that's what it calls for. He will be super respectful of every moment and, and let it kind of live and breathe. Like these characters really say so much sometimes without saying physically anything. And he's just so present. He's just like Dome and him together are so passionate and um, excited. And so it's impossible not to be as excited as them when you're doing a scene. And he, he just embodied that the, the intellect and the storytelling aspect, but then also just the super playful, youthful qualities as well.
Dome um, is is very actor driven in in his directing uh, style. He seems to know exactly what to say to each individual in order to get exactly what it is that he wants from them. Um, he's super excited and passionate, whether it's shooting a war sequence or a lovely scene in the woods dancing elven style. He, it doesn't matter what we're shooting, he is as excited and passionate, which just rubs off on the whole cast and crew. And what I loved is that like the first time we spoke, he explained his use of color and how he was gonna mix the fantasy in with the realness of, of that time period. And I could see it, but I thought, well, now I just hope that it actually comes across. And when I saw the final cut, it was actually someone who had said something and then delivered. You know, it was, it was a really nice payoff because it felt beautiful shooting it, but it looks so stunning as well. And the way that he molded and moved all these kind of storylines into one seemed almost impossible and, and he made it happen.